What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's me, uh, Jaden. I go by Christian on the YouTube channel. But yeah, I'm Jaden. We're back with another video. Today we got Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. We're a little late to the set. See 81 up there. It's like we're like 87 now. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of... I look forward to this video. It has a bunch of accessories. Looks nice. He has the best frog splash of all time. Beautiful crown, everything. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous head skin. Nice uh, gloves. This one, not so much. Nice accessories. Big figure. Hard to pose. I heard that this knee, this double jointed knee, was worse than a single jointed knee. So, um, I guess we could just get into the video. Actually, actually, now nah, reverse all that. I did not just do what MDT does. Uh, we can just look at the packaging real quick for like, they basically have like the same stuff. You see, Angelo Dawkins, nice I image of him right there. Uh, same one from up here. Um, uh, on the back, uh, if you like to read it, you can pause it now. Um, uh, career highlights, all that stuff. He comes with The Rock as well. Stunning Steve, Bianca Belair, Shinsuke Nakamura, which I saw at the store. I saw the whole set. I just wanted to get these two. Um, we got another nice image of him. And of course, we got the other one. I think. Never mind. Um, same backside, except for that picture. Um, nice image of him right there. And, uh, that's basically it for the packaging. So now we can get back where we left off. Here are the figures out of the packaging. And I have to say, they're looking super nice. Um, you know, we got his coat and everything. His crown, the glasses. These glasses, they, they look very small, but they fit, like, actually amazingly. And it's out, ab, actually outstanding to me how well they fit. Um, oh, Angel, stop hitting the table. Um, anyways, um, it's nice. It's like, like amazing how well they fit. Um, uh, I was thinking if we we're gonna do the accessories separate, I decided that they that we are. So uh, let's just get into that. Okay, so here are their figures or their accessories, and um, it's looking it's looking very like nice. And, um, so, we have, like, the accessories right here, um, the cup and the glasses. We got the interchangeable hands right there. This, I feel like most people want to count this as, oh, wait, nope, wrong thing. I feel like most people want to count this as an accessory, considering he no one, like, wears this in his matches. But it comes off, which I count as an accessory. Um, and then we also have, like, his nice little, uh, sweater. This is, like... It is like outstanding, honestly. It's like very nice material. Street profits right there. And um and then we have this beautiful crown. This fits beautifully, it looks perfect. The gems, it could be a bit shiny, but I see why they didn't put paint on it, like shiny stuff. This it's a nice rubber material. Um it's not as hard as you would expect it to be, like the Seth Rollins vest. It's, if anything, it's probably harder, and, um, but it still feels really nice in the hand, and it works out well, and then we got the, the Kawhi Landers hands, but they work for, my, uh, for Angelo Dawkins, because he's, like, a big guy, you know, the Michael Lee hands, which are just absolute, absolutely beautiful, these very beautifully textured glove hands, um, let me just focus, there we go, um, it has, like, very nice texturing on it, um, and I know you guys probably, a lot of you probably already have this, but I just like thinking the way I think for it, so put that down. And then, also, these are like, we have the choke slamming heads for Matas 4, these are the figures that he come with. Um, I don't know why they didn't just give him, like, Mike holding hands. And then we have fisted hands for Angelo Dawkins, which at least he comes with Mike holding hands. But yeah, these are like the hands that they come with. Um, let's just get into the next thing, because this just like, is looking awful in this So, um... Now we're gonna do like just kind of like joint the figures. Probably gonna take the stuff off so you can see. We got this nice little cup. We're just gonna put that down. Um, and then uh, so this torso is probably gonna be nice. So uh, let's just take this off. He has like the nice ricochet torso, which I honestly think is absolutely beautiful. It's more realistic than the regular ones, in my opinion. Even though it's very very jacked, it looks nice. But like he has like a Nice little bent torso. Oh no. He also has like a nice single. A beautiful double joint. Honestly, just beautiful. Uh, 360 head spin. Uh, a spin on the foot. Uh, yeah, he has ankle pivot. Uh, his foot comes down like that. 
not a lot. Um, he has thigh, uh, thigh twist. Um, also, he can like spin his own arm like this. And that's, uh, that also goes for Montez Ford or Angelo Dawkins. Sorry. Here, let me just. Ah, here we go. Okay, so we're just gonna set this down for a second. Everything's looking kind of like a mess over here. Um, this figure is honestly outstanding. The double jointed knee surprised me. Like my uh, MD2 figure only went to like this much. Mine goes like so good. It's honestly unbelievable. And then um, let's just take this off. Um, and then also over here. Over here, no, 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 no. okay. So let me just um, there we go. And then, so if we just take this off, he has a nice torso, I, th I think it works. Um, uh, so let me just uh, see, nice torso, street profits, all that. And he has the same, he has the same mobility and stuff, which is why I'm not gonna do his figure. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna set him down up. Uh, let's get into some comparisons. Alright, so now we're just gonna do some comparisons. Oops. Um, these figures don't really have a lot to compare to. So I found some other figures with them. Uh, not of them themselves, but like, so, for example, um, we got Braun Strowman. I feel like he compares in really good height, kind of, to, um... Angelo Dawkins. His figure was originally pretty big. I don't know if they tweaked that. Um, also, his double jointed knee with a lot of people, it wasn't all that good. But yeah, he definitely looks shorter than his original figure did. So there's that comparison right there. Uh, hold up. Let's also let's also compare Montez Ford, who looks pretty pretty good with that. So there's all that. Then we're gonna compare like a smaller type guy, like. Uh, Rey Mysterio, I guess we can just do, um, Rey Mysterio, uh, he could be a bit, like, he could make Angelo Dawkins just a bit taller for Rey, but, um, it's, it's, I guess it kind of works if you just set that there. Then we have, like, our two normal type guys, we have the Elite Samoa Joe, who definitely compares amazingly with both of these people. He could be a bit, uh, just maybe, like, a bit taller or Angelo Dawkins can be a bit taller for like some mojo, but that's that's fine. And then we got Finn Balor. Um, it's about the same, I guess you could say. Um, it's I'd say that looks very very nice. There's nothing bad going on there. Oh, like butter knife on top of this. Oh, no. oh you're making a movie? No, it's not a movie. I'm sorry. Uh, so like, it's fine. Um, these figures, I guess they're kind of starting to compare. In um, nice. I, I think they all work fairly nice. And then we got good night, good night, good night, good night. And then we got another tag team, which this this is just beautiful. Uh, we got the basic Usos. This is honestly just gorgeous. This this scales beautifully, in my opinion. Um, and then we got some weapons, uh, some regular weapons. We have an old jack's ladder, which are normally known to be shorter. I don't have big ladders, though. So, yeah, the, that one looks pretty nice. This one, pretty good. And then we have a chair, which I'm not even sure if you guys will be able to see this. Uh, could be, the chairs could be a bit taller, but that's fine. Uh, let's just, yeah, yeah. This, I think, I think they did honestly amazing with these figures. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button in the face or whatever Sniper Wolf and all those big YouTubers say. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you want more. All this stuff, uh, um, ladders, uh, super cakes, chairs. Um, like the video, please. All this extra stuff right there. Please just like the video. That's the point I'm trying to get at. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, um, uh, whatever. I don't, I don't even care. Just like. And then, uh, actually, hold on. Let me just take this. Uh, goodbye.